Skål, gutta. Skål. Skål. Hello and welcome back for another edition of Tipsy Wednesday, an original podcast presented from the Penthouse Bar. With us, as usual, our host and editor, Björn. Howdy ho. Our host and in-house villain, Junior. Hello there. And our host, a social media manager, Thomas. Hello. Yes. Another week, another episode. <laughs> Just a cheers. drink pause right there. Yeah, <laughs> cheers. <laughs> Everyone in sync. <laughs> Need to uh, have some uh, something wet in the throat. <clears> throat> What? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that came out That's wrong. That's what she said. <laughs> uh. We need refreshments. Mm. Yeah, I should have made more because I only had a half a glass from when I was watching a movie earlier. Made more? Yeah, it's so. No, not soda. It's uh, lemonade. Saft. Lemonade. Lemonade. <laughs> uh, soft in Norwegian. Oh, haven't you seen the Zero O commercial? The Norwegian Saft. Zero O commercial, yeah, the lemonade commercial. Yeah, no, I haven't. No, uh, go ahead and watch it. It's a uh, it's a guy who serves drinks at Miami, Los Angeles, and uh, people are buying it like hot dogs. You know. Okay. And every and everyone is amazed of him. And it's like. Then suddenly someone Norwegian comes over. This is saft. No, it's saft. And everyone goes saft. Yeah, it's like some super uh, special no, exclusive uh, drink, but uh, no. You see, I don't have uh, commercials on my streaming apps, so, uh, so yeah. Neither do I. Yeah, you've all gone VIP. I'm still a normie watching all the commercials. Even on YouTube. Because, uh, don't you have Junior, you, you, uh, mm, I like to support the creators by watching the ads, but I don't like the ads. Okay. So, um... I, um, yeah. I have ad block and I support the creators I want to support. Okay. How do you know... Uh, do, when do you know... Uh, how do you know that you need to go to the cinema, then? <laughs> if you can't watch the ads... Because <laughs> oh, I ke- like keep myself updated on things I like. Disappoint. Uh, uh, one of the streaming apps I had had commercials, uh, but I got tired of them really fast, so I uh, upgraded, so I didn't have to watch commercials. That's how they get you. It, w- it was this uh, Norwegian uh, streaming app called uh, TV2 Play. Uh, and I was watching an old Norwegian sitcom show, and there was commercials before, in the middle, and after, in a 20-minute show. And it oh, was up no. to 12, 12 ads <laughs> every single time. Yeah, that's a really horrendous ad uh, ad uh, riddled app, I would say. Because the, app they show the, the app is okay if you pay for the non-commercial one. Yeah, but yeah. if you don't, uh, it's <laughs> horrible. Yeah, yeah. Horrible. So, uh, so yeah, I upgraded it with uh, five bucks extra a month. Yep, five bucks here and five bucks there. Lo yep, and behold, yep, yep. <laughs> it's a streaming <laughs> app budget growing yes. ever larger. Yep, yep. Unless yeah. you're a pirate and you're free. Yes, yeah, you know I have uh, many of the the uh, streaming apps. Yeah, I think we've talked in length about yeah, this we, we before. Have. So we yep. will not go in depth now, but uh, but yeah, uh, let's jump into some uh, topics. And uh, while we're on the subject of uh, movies, Bjorn, I see you have a movie subject there. Yes, because going to the movies, they roll a few ads before the well, quite a few ads. Before the actual movie starts, I see those ads, Junior. Those ads I do yeah, see. Those ads you do <laughs> yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. <laughs> I do go to the cinemas. <laughs> so, watching the ads, you're like, you're sitting there, you might as well just watch them. You can't skip them or anything. The ad for, or the trailer for 
the movie or the sequel of the Avatar movie is like rolling. I was like, it's not called Avatar 2, it's called Avatar Waters, or Way of Water or something. Like, it's the sequel to the Avatar movie that came out in 2010, 11, something, some 10 years ago. So I was like, recalling back to how hyped that movie was and how well received that movie was, I couldn't help but think that... Will the sequel, this new Avatar movie, just be an overhyped mash of the same thing? Is is overhype just... We know what we're getting. We're not going to be amazed by super pretty graphics anymore like we were with the first Avatar movie. Because at the time, it looked fucking amazing. Um, but 10 years going forward a lot of movies look fucking amazing so that's the new standard so what else does avatar have going for it the I guess, sorry I guess, is it the, the first really... one was shit so i don't have expe expectations for this yeah it's game. like the the plot to me it it that wasn't the drive it it looked fucking amazing at the time that was the wow factor for me but it's like Yay, we humans uh, invade this planet for its resources, and uh, the natives rebel and win the war. Yay, amazing plot. Eh, and I love story <laughs> in there somewhere. So, yeah, 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 it didn't, it didn't grab me at all. It was like, but it looked fucking amazing. The the graphics, the art, the everything, colors, flashy, woo, amazing. I, I genuinely thought it was fucking amazing. Um. But I don't know if I'll think the same about the second movie. I don't think I'm hyped to go watch it at all. Because you can look at pretty graphics in, or animations or super high quality stuff in a lot of movies in this day and age. So what else does the second Avatar movie have going for it? For people like me? What? I what? know what people like you should go watch. The okay, new okay. Jurassic World movie or Jurassic Park movie. Yeah, probably, probably, but, but I'm missing it... like a few Jurassic <laughs> movies, like from the Aren't first bad? Chris Pat. From the first, I watched the. I don't know how many movies there are anymore. I watched the first one where Chris Pratt was in. Five. Okay, so I'm it... I'm missing one in between, and then there's a new one coming soon. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. You have to remember is the Chris Pratt movie, and it takes away. Um... Jurassic Park 2 and 3 of the old ones. It, it kind of starts after the events of the first Jurassic Park movie. Oh, so they just neglect the... Yeah. Oh. W which is okay, the third one was shit. The second one yeah. was okay, yeah. but uh, the last half hour of the second one where they tried to play Godzilla was shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so they took the first one and then like the Chris Pratt movies uh, starts... Uh, but the, the new one, the third one with Chris Pratt, brings back the original cast from the first one and mash them together. Yeah. Which Dr. Grant. Be, which might be nice. Like, <laughs> I, I, isn't it cheap? Isn't it a cheap trick? Like, here's all the old actors you know and love. <laughs> now we're going to kill them. I will not kill all of them. Just most of them. <laughs> Because I've heard the Jurassic Park uh, novels and books are pretty fucking grim compared to the movie adaptations. Mm -hmm. I don't know. <coughs> but yeah, I, I've the heard they're, they're more like uh, thriller <sighs> horror novels compared to the um, uh, the movies. Yeah, the yeah, that could be. It's kind of grim. Really? Well, yeah. <laughs> the, the one scene when the guy, uh, the hand falls from the ceiling or w what not. Th oh, that's yeah, uh, the raptor that... where she thinks he lays his hand on her shoulder and it's like, oh, I'm glad you're s here, you're safe and so. Yeah, that's the hand of Samuel L. Jackson, is it not? Um, I think it is, yeah, because he... There was something about the power shutting down and she went into there. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Anyways, okay. Like <laughs> Jurassic Park horror that I could get behind, but not <laughs> the 
their movies. The first one is good, the second one is good, and what are they doing in the all the other <laughs> movies? It's like, how many parks can you open, and how many disasters can uh, go wrong? Uh, in the three first one, there is only the one park, and that's the one from the first movie. Uh, the second movie is on a different island, where there also are dinosaurs, which wasn't in the park, they were on a separate island. Mm-hmm. And I think the same is the case for the third one. Uh, it's a different island, or... No, they're back at the original island, where everything has fallen to shit and whatnot. Uh, someone has it has crashed a plane there, or something like that, and they send in Grant to kind of fetch them and get them away. I think that's the plot. Yeah, something like that. Or, well, the plan was just to hover over the island because he didn't want to land, but they said, no, 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 we won't land. We'll just survey the island. We'll fly over it. You'll just have to point and and tell. Show and tell. Um, but uh, <laughs> no, that lo was... and behold, they landed the plane and it was like, oh, this isn't a good idea. And it wasn't. So, yeah. Uh, and the Chris Pratt movie is where they reintroduce the park, the theme park. Yeah, uh, the first Chris Pratt movie uh, is said to be good-ish, and uh, all the later is bad. Well, oh. There's only one after that, and that was not very good, no. Fallen yeah. Kingdom, is not what it's called? That the second be, Chris yeah. Pratt uh, Jurassic Park movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I just watched the first one. Yeah. I had good impressions of it, yeah. The yeah, it's fine. It was fine. Not <laughs> that's not compared to the original. Compared nah, to the original, like none of the Jurassic Park movies are fine. All <laughs> sequels in movies and such lose the the surprise magic of the first original. Uh uh-uh. uh. Just the natural of uh-uh. uh-uh. M- mostly. Uh-uh. mostly. Mostly. Most. Okay. Terminator. Yeah, I was thinking about that as well. Oh, the Terminator, second one was Terminator. better, but. Uh, Everyone after that <laughs> were bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, but uh, that's one movie. Rush well, with Hour. A few, with a few exceptions. With a few exceptions. Rush Hour, I we don't could... know if I agree. The second one is more funny, but I don't know if the story is better. Well, it's a kind of different uh, feeling then. <laughs> no. It's a laugh. It's better. It's better uh, to laugh. <laughs> well, but I didn't get the answer I was originally asking. Avatar, oh, okay, the sequel. Do I have any reason to watch it? Because I, I, I see none at the moment. I think trailing away from that was the answer. There's yeah, nothing for like... you there. There's nothing <laughs> for you there. Uh, watch something uh, else. Watch the new Jurassic Park, yeah. as you said. <laughs> yeah, that's I what you were getting at. It's worth watching because it's been in development for so long, right? Oh, yeah, Just they, to see they, it. They, they announced it, I think the plans for the second and the third movie like right after the first one mm. yeah i, so I, yeah, think I haven't just... paid attention to that because yeah no there was a lot of buzz and then silence for many years but now it's here so yeah i think it's worth, worth watching just just for the development but is it worth watching on the cinemas or just at home nah just at home just at home yeah, it's really. It has to be a really special movie f- for me to to uh, seek it at cinema, mm. or unless I get invited, you know, like the special movie, movie. Me, <laughs> special movie, the movie me and Bjorn watched yes. this weekend. Yeah. Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No spoilers, please. No, it was really fucking good, and now I want to watch the series all over again. <laughs> yeah, it was really fucking good. And it's almost two hours long. <laughs> so this <laughs> Christmas, I can safely buy you, say, a uh, Jesus uh, anime figure or something and hit home. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. so that was uh, that was good. Recommended. Recommended. And it's a prequel to the show, right? Yes. Uh, but but uh, you... Uh, in it's typical, a prequel uh, with, ju- with not with the main character, but with some other characters and the other, uh, obviously Gojo and the other classmates in there. What right. happened before they met? Um, what's his name? Red hair, um, main character of Jujutsu Kaisen. <laughs> see, anime. Fucking hell. 
Yeah, Usually. Junior, I think that, uh, yeah. What you the say? Red yeah, yeah. What? The kid. The, the... Fucking... It doesn't matter. It's a, it's a good prequel. And it includes <laughs> a lot of characters. Just You're really selling it now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I don't want to spoil. <laughs> so... I, yeah. like, I can't be like, ooh, the fight scene where this and this happens. But like, no. <laughs> yeah, but in typical anime uh, style, you you cannot really just watch the movie and then see the series because they don't explain shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so They're it is a prequel story-wise, but it's not a good idea to start off with it just because it's yeah. a prequel. Watch the content uh, that came before. Yep. Yes. Like uh, in uh, in release date. Do mm, mm. go go that way. Like the Star Wars movies. <laughs> We're not going there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Moving on. We, we, we disagree on that part. You see. Uh, okay. so. Yeah, yeah. I know. I know. I know. <laughs> what? You're, 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 uh, he's thinking Star Wars in terms of in terms of uh, quality. So he starts with the old ones, and like Episode Four, Five, and Six. Then yeah. he watch One, Two, and Three, and then he would watch Seven, Eight, and Nine. Hmm. You're well, bad. I well, <laughs> I do powers. watch them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm. Yeah, we talked in length about yep. this as well. Uh, so, <laughs> we agreed to disagree. And that's fine as well. That's yeah. fine. No, well. we, we agree that you're mad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very well. <laughs> How do you watch them? Like you. No, nice, nice. Okay. You're so wrong, I'm beer. the odd one out then. <laughs> Fuck it out. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Well, I pre-ordered something. <laughs> oh, you did! You did the bad. You did a bad. You pre-ordered. What did you? This is not a bad. You know, okay. I pre-ordered lots of stuff in my life. Uh, uh, games, uh, movies, uh, figures, and whatnot. And now I've also pre-ordered an audiobook. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So yeah, that's not so a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. It will just pop up in my uh, Audible uh, library when the book release in mm, a few okay. days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay, in good. a few days. Well, that's n not a long pre-order wait, anyways. I have oh. already pre-ordered it earlier. I'm just talking about it oh, now. Okay, <laughs> but okay, it will okay. release in a couple of days, and then it will just magically appear <laughs> in my library. <laughs> magically appear after you paid well, for it. After I paid for well, it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you don't have to pre-order audiobooks. I I feel. No, I know. I know, but uh, I had um, had a token, and I want the book, <laughs> so I did. And if you are sure you want to support the creator, even yeah, it's, before it's the ninth book in the series I'm already listening to. So yeah, exactly. So it's it's a way of showing that you liked the previous eight books. So take my money now. <laughs> Yeah, that's, yeah, the funny that's thing is, I only saying. listened to the first six books. Wow. He and you them already a, heard? Yeah, uh, there's, there's nine books, and it's uh, it, this is the last um, trilogy, because it's uh, three trilogies in the series. Okay, what uh, series is this? What's it called? Uh, Black Pete wanna... Saga, so it's one of my space uh, operas. Military mm -hmm. operas. Yep. Uh, yeah, but the books, it's three different events. So they happen at different times. So I've chosen not to listen to book uh, seven and eight until the ninth released, so I could like listen to all binge three it. Of them. Yeah, binge it basically. <laughs> uh, so yeah, <clears throat> so that's why I pre-ordered it, and I got the the other two books as well. And so, well, there's a risk of doing that because I just recently um, not bought I, I, f I saw a book in the same uh, series that I'm reading in and the plot synopsis uh, kind of spoiled me okay. because I didn't know yeah b because I didn't know it was in the same series right ah uh. so it was like really heavy spoilers ah uh. well yeah, I haven't read what the next uh, trilogy is about. I just have a list of the books the guy is releasing, so I just have like the different um, 
book series is releasing and when they're released. So just well, it's just them there. It's just a heads up for you uh, uh, people who are just reading. I just I just went into the author and like, ooh, he wrote more books. What is this all about? And then I wrote the plot synopsis and I was like, fuck. I just spoiled <laughs> myself. I just spoiled <laughs> yourself, yeah. I, I was about to do that once, but then uh, the the first sentence of the book series started with the name of the character, and I remembered that character from uh, previous books. So I was like, oh, not reading this. <laughs> yeah, and and, and they call it, it kind of got me, uh, because I, I did the same, read, and then I saw a name and the last name of that character, b- uh, because there's a female character uh, who is new, right? And she shares the same last name as a, a character in the, the setting I'm currently reading. Which means he got laid and had a child. Uh-huh. And that's spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's spoiled. Because uh, he's currently not in a shape to conceive a child. Currently? Yes. So something will happen that he's able to do it. Maybe he got... Don't speculate on it. Just continue through with your book and when you get there, you get there. Don't overthink it. Maybe he got raped in his sleep. Oh, we're transitioning. Nah, I I don't know. Just a slight callback to our Norwegian podcast previous episode, but... uh, Yeah, yeah, that was the original theme for this episode. Yeah. I just chose to throw that story, uh, throw that story in uh, yesterday because it f- fitted with what you were talking about. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, but yeah, uh, a couple of nights ago, I had uh, an erotic dream, to say the least. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so having sex, making out with a girl. Go on. <laughs> and uh, in the middle of this dream, I woke up. Um. Uh, and. Um, when I woke up, I was uh, still dry humping my mattress <laughs> my bed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was mid-motion when I woke up. <laughs> I had a rock-hard boner just humping my mattress. <laughs> um, and I was drooling all over my pillow <laughs> as well. <laughs> and Imagine yeah. if you... I woke up and I said something to myself, don't remember what, and then I went back to sleep after turning <laughs> the pillow. <laughs> Imagine if your child saw you, like, dry up in your mattress and drooling you're, on you. You're your going <laughs> at it for, like, half an hour, an hour, and your children is, like, worried something's happening in the bedroom. Yeah, <laughs> and they yeah, check yeah. In uh, on I, you. I, I, I suspect I, I would have been talking in my sleep as well, so, yeah. <laughs> Did they imagine you're possessed by some demon? I don't know. <coughs> oh no, daddy's trying to push down the mattress. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> He's calling it names. <laughs> Dad, don't be rude to the mattress. <laughs> Is the mattress a dirty? dirty? <laughs> Is that a dirty whore? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Uh, I bet my mattress felt uh, <laughs> violated. Mm. <laughs> Poor mattress. <laughs> <laughs> it did nothing yeah. wrong. I can imagine the mattress has seen worse. Yeah. Do you think Thomas has seen worse? Thomas's mattress has seen worse. Uh, yeah, than the than Thomas dry humping worse it. Ab- yes. Worse abuse than being <laughs> abused itself. No, the, mat- yes. the mattress probably felt more abused now than before, but uh, I, ha- I haven't directly abused the mattress before. <laughs> oh, okay, well, yeah. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> but your mattress <laughs> has seen some shit still. Yeah, 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 yeah. Seen some shit. <laughs> it just so In happened to be the mattress's turn now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But yeah. <clears throat> Just a short, funny <laughs> little story. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. Ah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, nothing more to say about that. Are we going, uh, moving on to something? Yeah, do the timestamp. Yes, I will do. Oi, come on. 
on then. Show us something new. Okay, little man. Tipsy Wednesday presents Show and Tell. And who will go first? Um, I can go first because I feel like it's not special at this point to show our figurines as it has become a figurine <laughs> show. <laughs> More our so than weeby shit. Weeby shit. Well, I might as well start off with the first figure of the series. It's a game series. This is um. Knight Dark Artorias Souls. from Dark Souls, the first uh, Dark <sighs> Souls game. Not the first Souls game, but the first Dark Souls games. This is Knight Artorias. You fight him as a boss in the first DLC, and he's fucking epic. Uh, as with all, nah, most boss fights in Dark Souls, a known series known for being... Um, on the harder side, uh, but very re rewarding and epic fights and all of that good stuff. Um, moving on in the series, um, I don't have a figure for Dark Souls 2, but uh, Dark Souls 3, on the other hand, this is the um, arbitrary knight from... Um, <laughs> Uh, the trailers and all from uh, like like the, the player character knight. the player character that is portrayed in this armor in the trailers for um, Dark Souls three. He's basically portrayed is... in that armor as well in Vivid the Dirt Legs uh, Souls. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which we also recommend because they are hilarious. Yep. Um, shout out to our uh, friends <laughs> Vivid the Dirt Legs <laughs> <laughs> because they need our <laughs> shout out. <laughs> No, they're doing fucking fine. Um, a good job of mine, to them. Uh, just donated a hundred dollars to them. Damn. Yeah. Well, Viva La Dirt League guys, they're doing fucking great. Um, Wait, what? And great work. Um, next up and last up of the figures from my series, which is an off series but from the same company, uh, Your from favorite. my favorite favorite game. Uh, Thomas, you might recognize this figure. It's uh, the Hunter from uh, the Bloodborne game. Yep. Which uh, is from the same creators, but it's another setting, another story. It's a uh, Victorian era England where beast scourges is about and you go and hunt beasts. It's a pretty similar, but it's a completely different setting. So this is just a portrayal of the main character, the Hunter, as you go around you have this pistol and you have a selection of weapons you can you choose this is the saw cleaver um so yeah it's like just the most iconic uh, weapon yeah for the, the most iconic card. weapon for the um bloodborne series um hunters um well you like nice yeah. uh, figurine from the newest game no, be because I haven't uh, even played the newest uh, from uh, from Soft game, uh, Elden Ring, because I was riddled with launch issues, mm. but which has apparently been fixed uh, as we speak. Um, so maybe I'll get into it at uh, a discount. Um, or some summer sale or something. Yeah, maybe the summer I'll... sale is just around the corner. Yep. And summer and sale, I have it's no... referred to Steam's summer sale on the Steam computer. summer sale, yeah. Yeah, so... Maybe that's next up in my Souls adventure. I played almost all of the games. Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3, and the Bloodborne. Uh, I barely played uh, Demon Souls. Barely. That's an earlier game or That's something? the first uh, first game of the Souls series, but it's mm. just a completely different name, different setting bit. So, Well, yeah, a good game series, all in all. Um, so, yeah, I've ranted long enough about my uh, <laughs> Dark Souls fandom. Yeah. Well. Who you got, guys? Uh, Junior? Me? Okay, me. <laughs> I was just <laughs> unsure what I would show off. 
I was thinking either I would educate people on the big cats or <laughs> I would show something. What? On the big puss? Big. On the big <clears throat> We all know I like Witcher, right? And I have, <laughs> a, wi I have a Witcher cap. <laughs> I, I think you've told us several times <laughs> before. <laughs> yeah, and I bought this cap. I, I use it when I play disc golf. Oh, uh, that's the one you use. Yeah, this is one I use. Okay. Uh, but in my uh, glass cabinet with Witcher figures, I have this one as well. Uh, with a picture oh. on the... Uh, ah, I? okay. Uh, and I also have uh, have this one. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> also with a picture <laughs> underneath. <laughs> so yes, I have uh, three Witcher caps. Uh, which okay, are on display. Getting... Uh, they are on display in my glass cabinet. Um uh, this one as well, but I actually use it. The other two I don't use. So yeah. If it's getting a bit uh, a bit excess excessive, I feel. No, no, no it's supporting no. And, the... And, and, and my local comic book shop um, just uh, got in a new uh, Geralt figure from the, the Netflix series uh, and his horse, Roach. Just uh, 70 bucks a piece. And then yeah. I can put Geralt on the horse when I bought both of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well. They also had a Witcher doormat. Uh, Toss a coin uh, to your Witcher, uh, but uh, I haven't bought that uh, either. But maybe I will. Well, it sounds like you will. <laughs> <laughs> I don't doubt it for a second. When you just got, oh, I got some spare cash. Now it's like... Go to the shop and buy him. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, but yeah. I'm coming home to you guys in uh, just right. under a month, and uh, we're doing stuff this summer as well. So uh, I might not be buying uh, anything uh, right now. Uh, I have also uh, ordered something for uh, uh, from uh, Mass Effect Three. Long time ago, they said it would uh, probably ar arrive last month. Uh, still haven't <laughs> arrived though, so uh, any day now, any day now. Probably. Uh, I will have to month. use uh, <laughs> 60, 70 bucks and something again. Because I'm uh, awaiting uh, the upgraded edition of this uh, the spaceship you use in Mass Effect. Yeah. The Hyperion. No, Normandy. Fall. <laughs> <laughs> so <Okay>. yeah <laughs> the Normandy SR2 I'm currently uh, waiting for and as I've already yeah. ordered that I think I have to buy that when that uh, comes around and not say nah nah just, just sit on it for a while I, I want to buy Geralt first so, <laughs> so yeah so no, no my caps that's, uh, that's what I'm showing off yep well that is my turn for the grand reveal. Do 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 do. This ah. is a this is a little box which I bought this Christmas yeah. for myself. It even has this authentication of certificate of authenticity. authenticity. Yeah. I have uh, yeah. a couple of those as well from some of Witcher figures, and I have that uh, uh, cased in. Well. Yeah. Okay. What's uh, what's authentic? What product is authentic? The box. Yeah, the <laughs> box. <laughs> authentic. The box yeah. as well. The, the box. Uh, the box and this necklace. Yeah, and you ordered that necklace when we did an episode long ago, didn't you? Yes, I did. Uh, it's a near Adamanta necklace, which. You cannot really tell unless you watch really, really closely. You can uh, almost see the your high symbol. <laughs> to me, it looks like a like a almost black um, uh, emerald crystal or something. Uh, but, dark uh, blue. Dark. It's blue an or it's an on onyx dark onyx. Or, uh, dark. Hmm. Yeah, onyx rock. It's real silver though. Okay. Okay. So, so but. but the Who thing uses with that the necklace in the game? Or is no, one. A no, 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 no one. No one. It so just so has the Yorha, Yorha symbol. Yeah, you cannot really tell it's from the game unless you really, really know it. That's mm -hmm. one of the... the it's, it's, it doubles as both a casual uh, necklace and a super hardcore fan necklace. Yeah, then. and that is... That is uh, I use this uh, at social gatherings. 
Okay. Uh, just, so if, yeah. if someone catches you out on that, you know they're also <laughs> a Nier Automata fan. Yeah, and um, they got really good sight because it's really, really, really <laughs> tiny. <laughs> <laughs> I also have a couple of um, fun fantasy necklaces that uh, I bought at the comic book shop uh, long ago. Uh, but you can, if you know the games, you can clearly tell it's from the games because the, the necklace from Final Fantasy VIII has the lion logo thing, which oh, uh, Squall is using. Ver so very obvious then. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't imagine having. Uh, I wouldn't mind having the the Kingdom Heart to have the sword. That would be the Kingdom Heart sword, right? Right, right. <coughs> I think I actually have a replica of the key sword as well, somewhere. What? I should go through my boxes of uh, nerdy stuff <laughs> that I am currently not yeah, uh, because displaying anywhere. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because uh, you're in a situ bits and bobs. Yeah, you're in a situation where you have a lot of figures, but all of your uh, glass cabinets and display p places are occupied. So you have a lot of figures in boxes because you don't have uh, anywhere to put them. All of my Final Fantasy stuff, uh, some of my Bleach figures, some of my Naruto figures, uh, some Doctor Who stuff, uh, the, the, the the key sword from Kingdom Hearts. Mm -hmm. yeah. You just simply don't have space to put it up. I don't have space. <laughs> it's two big ass boxes with stuff. Mm. <clears throat> so I just need a bigger place. Yep, yep. Yeah. And now that my computer disk is riddled with big cats as well, so. <laughs> you got the and more to come. What? You got all the big pussy. You got all the big pussy, yeah. <laughs> right in front of you. That's why I was thinking about showing off different big cats and uh, tell facts about them, but uh, for a different time. Maybe, maybe. Because uh, this is the last uh, show and tell segment. Uh, maybe not forever, but certainly for a while. Because we need yes. to buy stuff to show off. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, because I have a lot to show off in some boxes. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> Yeah, because lately it has turned out to be the show and tell figurine uh, uh, segment. Because we've literally run out of things to... Interesting things to show... So, what's the most next most interesting thing to show? It's like yeah, figures, but yeah, or um, your uh, your oven cleaner and <laughs> <laughs> what not? yeah, and, and your broken <laughs> piece of the tire changing thingy. And... Yeah, but there's a story behind it. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah there was a, there's a story <laughs> tied to it. Yeah, yeah. So you got that at least. Yeah. Yeah, there's, well, not uh, there's not there's uh, not a lot of story of I bought a merch. <laughs> I said merch, and I got it on display because I love my <laughs> shit. But it is fun to show, at least. Yeah, of course. We could show off uh, nerdy T-shirts <laughs> in the future. Because <laughs> I, I got Deadpool on a uh, unicorn. <laughs> Rick and Morty. Morty. Rick and Morty. Morty. <laughs> I, I got Miku. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Because guess what? We're nerds. <laughs> yeah, what? Who would have thought? What are you saying? We're nerds? <laughs> what I is like this? To use, I don't like to use the term nerd. It's We're geeks. Is that better? Is it worse? Is it better? Uh, Isn't it the a same? Nerd. They're, they're good at math and whatnot. And I'm not. But I'm a geek. <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, because nerd is something you say when someone, like, uh, around the lunch table runs some sci-fi algebra to calculate something someone asks about, and people are looking weird at him or her, and it's like, nerd? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, when someone's better no, at, at you uh, at something at school, then they're a nerd. <laughs> yeah, it's like, we always find something to uh, blame, something to yeah. Can't find Not to word. say that nerds aren't geeks, but uh, mm. I don't necessarily think a geek is a nerd. 
if <laughs> you can put it like that. More more often than not, and the word nerd is used in sort of like a uh, teasing meaning. Or not teasing meaning. It's meant as sort an of an insult. Kind of. As kind of an insult, yeah. Kind of. It's like, I don't like you because you are good at something. <laughs> yeah, Very you, good at something. You can, you can hear people say, like, you fucking nerd. And people don't go around, you fucking geek. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, we're geeks, not nerds. Okay, fine. Fine, geeks. <laughs> I can accept oh, you're that. Su you're such a geek. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, I, I've heard it, but it's not as common as nerd. <laughs> yeah. I think nerd is something uh, J. Jonah Jameson could call Spider-Man and Peter Parker. <clears throat> mm. I'm just thinking of the laughing scene. <laughs> it's just so fucking ridiculous. It's like, could you pay me in advance? And he goes like, are you serious? <laughs> Say, he says first. Like, <laughs> no, he laughs first. He laughs and first, then and Paul then says, yeah. and then he's like looking at him. You serious? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's oh, the best. He's the best. <laughs> he's the fucking best. He's the best. J.K. Simmons, oh. the actor. Yeah. He's awesome. <laughs> he made that character. He yeah, made yeah. that character. <laughs> he was he, born he to play the character. Yeah. He loved that character. <laughs> Uh, to play it, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Is that why he's voicing uh, the, the, the the guy in Invincible as well? Uh, he is. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, oh. the father. Yeah, and he, and he kind of has the looks with the hair and the mustache as well in that show. Yeah, but not the attitude. <laughs> not the attitude. Yeah, no, 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 no. But, but the, uh, the like the, the character looks kind of like J. John Jameson. <laughs> and then you have the same voice as well. It's not hard to to realize who's voicing the character. But yeah, Bjorn, you have a topic here. Closing shop or kicking employee. Yeah, it's... Um, I don't want to say it's uh, close to the Norwegians... Um, the segment in our Norwegian po podcast, A Moral Dilemma. But it kind of is. Because if... As we know, cancel culture is, can we say, it has been running rampant. Some, most cases, some cases have been well, um, how can I say it? Documented? Justified, very justified that someone was uh, finally punished for something they did in the past. They were, and, and punished, I mean cancelled from whatever even though that's kind of a weird punishment for... Yeah, I, anyways. So, if you as a boss or a, a worker at a company of some sort that has to do with customer relations or anything, and a colleague of yours or an employee of yours, if you're the boss of this company, an employee of yours... Uh, suddenly gets attacked with the cancel culture because he or she did a stupid thing at a party 20 years ago. Uh, they, they said something and did something inappropriate uh, to someone. And then this comes to the day of light. 20 years later, uh, this employee is working in your company and uh, your company is getting a lot of shit because this guy or girl is working there at your company and uh, as cancel culture would like to have it they <laughs> the the mob would like this person to be cancelled from as much as possible if it's an actor they would like him or her to be cancelled from movies if it's a simple joe on the street they would like to get him cancelled from work they would like to end his life uh, you know, it's like super bizarre how the amount of punishment a society would like to inflict on someone. But you as an employer notice these effects because people aren't coming to buy your merchandise, use your 
um, services anymore because of this employee. So, in the interest of the company, would you fire this employee just to make the company survive even though you and everyone in the company all agree this is a bullshit situation but the mob cancel culture society says that guy that girl gets cancelled he or she should stop working at your company or should you brave the storm and try to survive I think most no. uh, cases of uh, cancel culture, it's not the people that actually love your products or whatnot. It's just someone else that finds out and wants the person to be cancelled. Yes, yes. But so, so I would just weather the storm. Because cancel culture is bullshit. Most of it is yes most of it yeah but mostly yeah, but there yeah. are cases, but there are cases are... there where punishment should have been uh, enacted uh, a long time ago and in other forms but some of it justified and well but not this case this uh, scenario let's say um would you brave the storm even though you let's say you did notice the effects on like pure economics because you barely get any customers as long as this is going on uh, aren't there other things you can try first like just relocate the person within your company to do some other tasks or whatever for a while does this sit well with the cancel culture mob knowing that he didn't get fired or she didn't get fired uh, they just got um, repositioned. That yeah, might. But would, would you have to announce it? I don't know. Like Let's if, say if it's, it's a clerk so... in a store and <clears throat> people get in there and they see the person is gone. Problem solved. Well, word word gets around, anyways. Uh, so I don't yeah, think. But, yeah, but you cannot fire him because he can sue you for unjustifying fire. Yeah, that's not. Yeah, that's also an aspect. Yeah. But let's. I think yeah, because it's easier in the entertainment industry because you just don't hire them anymore. Yeah, yeah. But, but an employee, it's a lot harder to just. At least here in Norway, employees are protected so much, uh, even if the person deserves to <laughs> be kicked off or whatever. He, he's still there. Yeah, it's. Uh, I I don't know. If, in most cases, it's a good thing because the employee is protected by... They can't... The the employer, the boss, can't fire an employee simply because he or she doesn't like him. They need more... Way more reason, like... And be able to document, like, this person has been skipping work or calling in sick for half a year or something. Some ridiculous things has to happen. Before a uh, boss can uh, legally fire legally fire you, actually, yeah. and and uh, the employee uh, should have uh, like a warning first, just just mouth to mouth. <laughs> That's just not mouth, mouth to mouth. To mouth. <laughs> <laughs> mouth to mouth. <laughs> wow. No, not mouth to mouth. Uh, you, you just you have to um, the, the um, first warning you you give the person like you you tell the you person. Yeah, you can't, uh, like, day one fire you. No, uh, you have to give them a warning. And uh, if that doesn't work, after a while, you can give them a written notice, like a warning. Uh, and uh, if it still goes on, then I think you can fire them. Or at least your company have to relocate them to somewhere else. And they have to try to work there yeah. for a while and see if things get better. So, yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff you have to go through. Yeah, and you can skip all of that and say, dude, we saw what you're doing. Uh, if someone did, if an employee, l let's say an employee stole from you the company. Okay, yeah. Then, then it's the easy to get rid of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's easy. And, and you're like, do you want to continue work here or should you just go away? Because we know what you did that we can sue you, right? 
Mm. Well, but uh, that doesn't fit this scenario, though. It's like kind of... Weather the storm. Weather the storm, bro. Weather the storm. Yeah, that's... You uh, don't want to get sued. Okay, well, that's a different perspective on things. Weather the storm. Yeah, no, because the the person you uh, kick from work, uh, they can sue you if you don't have legal grounds. So. Yeah, if you just if you just kicked an em at least here in Norway, if you just kicked an employee to weather the um, social media cancel culture mob storm to get economics or customer base back, that is not um, you're not allowed to do that purely on that basis um, as an employer. So in that case, yeah, <laughs> weather the storm to avoid getting sued by uh, a former employee. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Employee, and, and you, uh, employer. Uh, so he can probably sue you and you will have to rehire him. So <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> so that's a <laughs> fucking huge loss. Lose-lose <clears throat> situation. Okay, so we're the two of you going for weather the storm. for yep. diff Yeah. Um, and you would... Well, I think cancel culture, for the most part, at least in this scenario, is bullshit. Um, and the amount of punishment the mob would like to inflict on the internet, or the, the, in this case, the cancel culture mob would like to inflict. The amount of punishment doesn't... Uh, uh, doesn't it doesn't justify punishing them as hard because of something they might have done 20 years ago yeah. uh, in some drunk at being drunk at a party and saying something super racist or being sexual towards someone uh, which is bad but you would like to think it passed after 20 years or said person took action within that time uh. yeah but often in in cancel culture cancel culture um, things you know, when it comes to um, the famous people and whatnot they're, they're getting cancelled now because it's <clears throat> it's popular to cancel people and you most likely will succeed no we, we have a lot of cancel not cancel culture but uh, things that are sketchy in our own department things uh, that know, are uh, sketchy in our own department what no, has someone no, no, been touching what's you what's going on you, here you? guys <laughs> what what <laughs> 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 no but uh, in politics in norway right we had mm -hmm. uh, our uh, defense minister he had to back down right mm -hmm. that he did because he had sex with someone uh, years ago yeah who was years younger than him yeah but still legal still legal but he had to step down yeah well, I, I thought that was bullshit as well. I read the article. Yeah, well, that's just a consequence of your job and your position is directly connected to how many people like you. <laughs> and how yeah, many people uh, this was like always uh, like a defense minister or wh whatever. <clears throat> and uh, many years ago, he had sex with a young woman when he was in a relationship with someone else. Mm -hmm. And this lasted for a couple of years I think and then they broke it off and now years later she comes out with the story and said she felt it was kind of forced or whatever <coughs> yeah but uh, hmm. I don't think yeah, we because I know there are multiple s uh, stories about this that might be uh, not, not just one girl well uh, yeah but it's like we're not <laughs> D uh, don't under don't misunderstand me or us as we say all of cancel culture is bullshit because a lot of these stories is uh, based on extortion of some sort like a person of higher rank or position um, forces someone or extorts them to do things they don't want and then years later they might become comfortable uh, sharing this with the rest of the world. And that's... <laughs> there are so many sides to this. Yeah. When I say cancel yeah. culture is bullshit, it's more like... Uh, 
when an actor gets uh, cancelled because of their political view or opinions on something that doesn't fit within the <laughs> social mold, then like Chris culture. Pratt. Like he's cancelled. Yeah. I haven't. He's not cancelled. People want to cancel him because he's oh. a straight white uh, middle-aged male. He's privileged. Is no, that the reason no, no, for no, being cancelled? No, 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 no. That's the reason I heard from no, many no, people. No, 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 because uh, he's a good Christian. That is why. Ah, he's a Christian as well. He's a uh, super Christian, right? Like no abortion and stuff like that. Mm. Yeah, well, he's a Republican, perhaps. Um, maybe. That they're, 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 they're not liked in the states. At the moment, and they hold the more Christian values, I think, as well. Um, and as mentioned before, Chris Pratt uh, is uh, dating uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger's daughter, and Schwarzenegger is uh, a Republican as well. <coughs> I didn't know this. <coughs> well, I don't know a whole lot about celebrities <laughs> in general, <laughs> but uh, because, yeah, they, they just do their stuff. It's like yeah. they're people as well. So yeah, in those cases, uh, cancel culture is bullshit. If it's like it, the amount of punishment doesn't uh, match the action they may have done, or they definitely did. Usually, it cancel culture would like to, oh, you said something inappropriate, and uh, punishment equals, we'll end your career, we'll end your life will end everything you stand for. That's how the mob would like to act. Yep. Yeah, but we have discussed and if this, this... And if this case went to court, the punishment would usually be something of a different sort, but all in all, less um, punishing. <laughs> it wouldn't ruin someone's life in most cases, but cancel culture would like to ruin people's lives. Hmm... That's yeah, harsh. but haven't but haven't we discussed this before? Yes, we yeah, have. Yeah, there, yeah. We have an yeah, episode yeah, yeah. called "Cancel Culture." Yeah, yeah, but can you really take the artist from the art? It depends on the art, I'd say. I think we've discussed this as well. Uh, Kevin Spacey cancelled uh, things he di did. Um, can you separate what he did from what an actor he is? Or was. <laughs> I don't know. So, Marilyn Manson uh, separate his music from his uh, sadistic life. sexual <laughs> uh, actions. Uh, everything. Think, yeah, you have to measure think, it by case by case basis. I think it's easier to uh, to look at uh, like uh, paintings and remove the artist from the art <laughs> than it is uh, <laughs> literally. from music and movies. Where you actually see the artist. <laughs> or hear the artist. Everything has has different perspectives, different levels, and you have to take all on a case-by-case -case basis, yeah. I, th I think. There's no general rule to how you should uh, tackle these situations. But mostly I or interpret. fuck like Marilyn Manson. He can do whatever he likes. If I like his music, I will listen to his music and don't think about him as a person. Because I don't give a shit. Yeah, well, uh, I I generally think so as well. But he, if he... If there's degrees to this as well. If he made banger music, which I think he does, but he uh, rapes babies, that's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's another level of, of horrible that makes me... It, it's, yeah, there's levels to everything. Yeah, Even okay. though I don't deny what he has been doing is horrible. Um, uh, yeah, he should... See, get, I, uh, I, I still he appreciate should. some of Michael Jackson's classics. <laughs> I don't care how he was as a person. <laughs> I mm. still enjoy some of the songs. So yeah, yeah. You got yeah. that as well. Yeah. Michael Jackson is more of a prime example. Like, he may have done this. He definitely did that. What about his music? It was fucking great. <laughs> but, yeah. 
And the guy well, knew how oh. to dance. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this the wrap up, guys? Yeah, oh, it is. I fucking think it is. Yep. <clears throat> it's been a ranty episode, kinda. Mm. Uh, but yeah. I would like to thank our listeners for sticking with us yet again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, remember to follow us on uh, all our social medias. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Discord, my TikTok. Uh, is there anything else? Uh, but whatever, just follow us. Uh, <laughs> if you'd like to ask us something, uh, give us tips or whatever. like to hear us talk about something, send us a mail at tipsywednesday at uh, gmail.com. Uh, yeah. Support us. That's support us. <laughs> As, and support the children of Ukraine in uh, the link in the descriptions. Uh, All the, links the links in the. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> be below, yeah. Yep, yep. Good night. Bye bye. Good night.